a good and godly day to everyone. We are going to continue with our presentation of the computational part of non-parametric statistics. The non-parametric statistic test that we are going to compute in this video is the paired sample sign test. This test is used to test sample means in a comparison of two dependent samples, such as a before and after test. We have to recall that based on our previous discussions, when dependent samples are taken from normally distributed populations, the t-test is used. But when a condition of normality cannot be met, then we will be using the non-parametric paired sample sign test. The paired sample sign test is a non-parametric test that is used to test the difference between two population medians when the samples are dependent. We will now be using the textbook entitled Elementary Statistics, a Step-by-Step -Step Approach by Alan Blumann, copyrighted 2018. In his example 13-3 entitled Ear Infections in Swimmers. A medical researcher believed that the number of ear infections in swimmers can be reduced if the swimmers use earplugs. A sample of 10 people was selected and the number of infections for a four-month period was recorded. During the first two months, the swimmers did not use the earplugs. During the second two months, they did. At the beginning of the second two-month period, each swimmer was examined to make sure that no infection was present. The data are shown here, meaning in this table. At alpha equals 0 0.05, can the researcher conclude that using earplugs reduced the number of ear infections? The data given in the table shows three columns. The first column is the column for swimmers named A until J. The second column is the column for number of ear infections before the use of air plugs. The third column is the column to show the number of ear infections after using the air plugs. We are going to solve paired sample sign test using our Excel template. This is an Excel template of sign test for paired samples. If you notice, there are two cells that are two types of cells being colored. The blue cells and the yellow cells. The blue cells are the cells where we are going to encode our data while the yellow cells contain default values that we are going to read after the data have been encoded. Notice also that we'll be working on two worksheets of this Excel template. The first worksheet is where we are going to encode our data in the blue cells. Well, the second worksheet is the computation worksheet. We also have blue and yellow cells in this worksheet where we are going to encode the given values of the problem in the blue cells and the yellow cells also contain default values. We are going to read the default values only after all the data and all the given items of the problem are encoded. So, going back to the problem, we will be encoding the data the two column, two pairs of values being encoded in Excel template. I am encoding previously my data here. So what I'm going to do is just to highlight, copy, 
and paste it to our Excel template. After encoding or paste or pasting the data in the Excel template, we are having the entries, the number of possible positive values is seven, the number of negative values is two, and we have the number of values n is nine, which is just the sum of seven and two. But this will be used for the sign test computation worksheet. For the blue cells, we'll be encoding first the alpha or the level of significance being given in the problem, which is 0 0.05. The next is the tail. From the problem, we can infer that the tail is 1 since we are asked if the researcher can conclude that using earplugs reduce the number of ear infections. There is a direction, hence the tail is one. Now using these three entries, the alpha, the tail, and the n, which is nine, we are going to read and encode here the critical value from table J. This is where Table J is located, still uh, in Blueman's book. Recall that we are having one tail. One tail and our alpha is 0 0.05. Therefore, we'll be reading the critical values along the last column, depending on the number of cases or the number of pairs. As we are going to refer from the problem, there are nine pairs, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine N, nine pairs. Hence, we are going to read from table J along the nine n equals 9 and this is 1 hence we'll be encoding 1 as our critical value and we can now use the entry on the decision on null hypothesis and this is do not reject which means that we are not going to reject the null hypothesis this is how the excel template for sign test prepared samples is used have a good and godly day to everyone god bless you all and your families to god be the highest glory